everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Segan. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering how I make onion juice for hair growth. I'm also gonna be showing you guys before and after pictures of my hair loss and shedding to how it is presently today. But before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel just yet, please be sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to shout out on my channel, all you have to do is click that notification bell and let me know that you did it in the comment section down below to get a shout out in my next video. If you guys are new to my channel, just to give you guys a brief overview, I have naturally thin hair. I've always had very fine hair, even as a child. But throughout my adult life, experimenting with you know, different hairstyles, braids, extensions, weaves, and all that stuff. I've kind of <laughs> went through ebbs and flows of my hair. I've dealt with scalp dermatitis, which is terrible. To say the least, it's a very burning sensation that happens in your scalp. So with that being said, I love to find new hair growth remedies. Like for instance, I'm gonna be talking about onion juice in this video, but the way that I slicked back my hair today is with flaxseed gel. So if you guys wanna see a video on how I make flaxseed gel at home and the benefits of flaxseed gel, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do it. But just to kind of give you guys an idea, I love doing DIY home remedies for your hair. Now let me show you guys the before and after. So this is what my hair looked like in March and this is what my hair looks like presently. So back in March, I had a wig installed for the first time, but because I have a very sensitive scalp and very fine hair, the way that the wig was installed wasn't necessarily good, only because it was super tight on my scalp and I left it in for, I wanna say two weeks, maybe a little over two weeks, and the amount of hair loss that I had after taking out the wig and the cornrows and things like that was just a lot and I got really, really sad only because after seeing all that hair shed, I figured, you know what, let me give this onion juice another go around because the amount of hair loss that was happening right in the middle was just unbearable. I wasn't able to do content for a really long time and it was just sad because I had to do this thing all over again. So with that being said, I started making onion juice again at home and I started applying it once a week. So if you guys are interested in how I made it, continue watching. So to make onion juice, you're gonna need the following things. Obviously, one onion. I get asked this a lot. A lot of people ask if there's a difference between red onion and yellow onion. To be honest, depending on the research that you do, there's debates between yellow onion or white onions having more sulfur, which is what is, which is what's key to hair growth. But on the other note, red onion produces a lot more juice than the white or yellow onion. So typically, I personally like to use whatever onions are around <laughs> the house, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use it with red onions. So this is completely optional, but this is what I've been doing lately. I like to throw in a couple cloves of garlic, I know we'll get to the smell a little later on in this video, but I have to be honest, like if I'm gonna go all the way with the smell, I'm gonna go full throttle. And garlic is amazing to promote hair growth. I know friends and family that have literally taken cloves of garlic and have rubbed it on their edges to promote hair growth by stimulating their scalp. So I figured, you know what, let me throw in a couple of cloves in there, why not? But that is completely optional. I mean, that's what I've been doing as of lately and I've been seeing a bit of a difference, but I think if you don't have any garlic around the house and you have the onion, the onions will work just fine. So to get started, I chop up the onions into wedges and then into smaller pieces. I throw it into the blender along with the cloves of garlic and I add in a little bit of water. A lot of you ask whether to add water or just leave it like pure onion juice or will it make a difference and things like that. I add just a little bit of water to help with blending. I don't add a ton of water because I want as much onion juice as I can. The water really helps with blending. So if you guys are gonna do this, just know to just add a little bit of water so you're not kind of oversaturating the onion juice. After it's all nice and blended, I take a wig cap. If you guys don't have a wig cap, stockings, uh, or a cheesecloth will work just fine. I used to use a strainer, but the strainer doesn't get all of the juice that I want. <laughs> and I want like all of it out of there, you know what I mean? If you guys have a strainer, it works just fine, but I like to use a wig cap and extract all that onion juice into a container. Okay. 
Applying onion juice to your hair um, can kind of leave your hair flaky and this is from trial and error that I've experienced and I can tell you guys firsthand if you guys don't strain it twice, if you guys don't filter it twice, you guys will find a bit of flakiness or a bit of like white fluff in your hair after you've washed your hair out with shampoo and conditioner. So I like to take extra caution and I like to take a strainer to make sure I have all those little bits caught and they're not going to be in the applicator bottle when I apply it to my hair in the shower. Now we have our onion juice and we are ready to go. Before we get started in applying it to our hair, just let me tell you guys, it does smell, but it's worth it. It really depends on how much, I guess, you want to see like your hair grow as fast as possible. My only thing is I'm not as patient as I thought I was. I find that using onion juice to promote hair growth, especially in different parts of my hair uh, that are patchy after doing very tight hairstyles. I want to get my edges back as soon as possible. Like I have no time to wait. I don't have that three month window. So um, if it means it has to smell a little bit, then it's okay. My only thing is starting the onion juice treatment again was amazing because I was home during lockdown, during quarantine. So that's a bit of like the plus side. If you guys are still at home and you know are self-conscious about the smell, and what people will say and things like that. I mean, now is a good opportunity to do so because you're, you know, at home and you're social distancing anyway. That's just a little bit of a side note, a little bit of a pro tip. Anyways, so what I like to do is I like to hop in the shower and I like to apply it to my roots. So the applicator ball that I'm using is directly going into my roots first. So that's where I need the onion juice to work its magic immediately. So I like to apply the onion juice section by section, starting with the scalp. And then I like to make sure that I have my hair completely saturated with the onion juice. This does get a bit messy, so I would advise you guys to do this while you're in the shower. Also, if you guys are gonna be wearing something, don't wear like a nice shirt. I would wear an old shirt. I would make sure that whatever towel I'm using, I'm washing immediately because the smell is quite um, potent. <laughs> so I like to leave it in my hair for about an hour. I know an hour seems like a long time, but I can promise you guys, while I was recording <laughs> this video in the shower, I had Netflix on and I was just chilling, waiting for that hour to go. So once the hour is up, I like to rinse my hair thoroughly with warm to kind of cooler water. I don't want to be in like a steam shower with just onion juice everywhere. So to kind of mask the smell, it's really good to use warm water or cool water. But generally, as a rule of thumb, if you're washing your hair, I would never advise you guys to wash your hair with hot water. I know it's nice to have hot showers. God knows I love having hot showers, but it's really, it's really bad to use hot water when you're washing your hair. If you wash your hair, use warm to cool water just as a pro tip, whether you're using the onion juice treatment or not, that's a rule of thumb that you should know. So after rinsing out the onion juice, I like to shampoo my hair. Again, only focusing on the scalp. And you guys already know if you watched my wash day video that I posted last week, I love using my scalp massager. I'll link it down below. You can get it on Amazon for like less than 10 bucks, but it is the best. Also, massaging your scalp with a scalp massager or even like the tips of your fingers really does help with stimulating your scalp and promoting hair growth. So that's just a little tip for you guys. And the shampoo that I'm using in this video is by Shea Moisture. It's from their Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. Um, and for conditioner, I like to use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Conditioner. Now, if you guys are from Canada, unfortunately we don't have Trader Joe's out here. I kind of get my cousin from California to send it over for me, but um, that's like my last bottle, just as a side note, so Trader Joe's, if you're listening, please open in Canada. <laughs> but um, that's the conditioner that I like to use, um, and the tea tree and peppermint that's in there. I think it's peppermint or tea tree. Anyway, it kind of it's kind of nice, it gives you that tingly feeling, and it, you know, helps with uh, promoting hair growth as well. A major takeaway that like literally blew my mind is the amount of hair shedding that I had. So this is the hair shedding that I had a week 
prior. If you guys watch my wash day video, this is literally the hair shedding that I experienced when I was taking out my braids. And this is the hair shedding that I had after treating my hair with the onion treatment. And that's only a week difference. Aside from promoting hair growth really quickly, onion juice is amazing when it comes to strengthening and preventing hair loss. So if you guys watched that wash day video, I'll link it in the description box below and on the screen. I shared that my hair is pretty prone to breakage and because it's very fine, I like to use treatments, products, that really help with strengthening my hair. When I saw the difference, like I was amazed. The amount of shedding that I had in my shower as well, like it was nuts. So there was shedding from like a week ago and then there was shedding after applying the onion treatment and then washing my hair and then it just gradually started decreasing. And you guys can see that from this clip, but I had to share it with you guys because I've shared in the past, again, my scalp dermatitis, my hair shedding, hair follows, and things like that. So this was a moment for me, <laughs> to say the least. So if you guys can get over the smell of the onion treatment, I promise you, like, I'm on the other side of it, and I'm gonna go back to doing it once a week. I kind of stopped only because when I got my edges back, I was out here like, that's it. <laughs> I'm good, I don't need to smell like onions anymore. And then when it happened again in March, I was just like, I gotta bring it back. So I am gonna be committing to the onion treatment every week, I'm gonna be doing it once a week again, and I'm gonna show you guys when I do it during my weekly vlogs. I do post them every Sunday. This is a bit different because I'm posting this video on a Sunday, but starting next Sunday, I will be posting my weekly vlogs, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the onion treatment. So if you guys wanna do it with me once a week, we can do it together. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right there with you guys. I love to show you guys results. I love to show you guys the befores, the afters, and I'm gonna show you guys what I continue to do. If you guys wanna see more DIY hair treatments, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I made this flaxseed hair gel. So if you guys want to see how I made it, let me know in the comment section down below as well. Give this video a big thumbs up, especially because I stink. No, I'm just kidding. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel just yet, please be sure to subscribe. And if you guys want a shout out on my channel, all you have to do is click that notification bell. Let me know in the comment section down below that you've done it, and I'll give you guys a shout out in my next video. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, let me know video ideas in the comment section down below because your girl is trying to pump, pump, pump. Oh, wait, copywritten. Can't do that. Dang. I really want my t-shirt to kind of pop through. It's kind of popping. I smell a bit love.